Human history is an impressive journey that takes place over hundreds of thousands of years, and that's only if we include the emergence of Homo sapiens. The story of our ancestors saw incredible challenges overcome through human ingenuity and perseverance. As we view the lives of our ancestors, it's helpful to know during what time in history they lived. So far, we've been looking at these dates by classifying them as how many years have passed between then and our lifetime. And while we could continue to do that, at a certain point, that dating system will be plagued with errors within a short time frame. This leaves us with choosing a calendar system to mark the dates of human events and achievements. The most common and widespread calendar in the world is the Gregorian calendar, where the current year is 2021. Using this calendar, we first count down as we go into the past until we hit year one, and then begin counting upwards again to go further back in time. This is not a terrible problem, but it does make visualizing time spans a bit more difficult, and charting the story of our ancestors is the main purpose of this journey. That is why we will be using the Human Era Calendar from now on. The Human Era Calendar is where we add 10,000 years to the present Gregorian calendar. When trying to convert BC dates, it's important we subtract 10,001 years, ignoring the negative, as there is no year zero in the Gregorian calendar. Therefore, 1 BC would be the year 10,000 of the human era, marked by the presence of HE. Adding 10,000 years is partly because it is a convenient conversion. We could go back further if we wanted, but for one, it is an existing calendar already, and two, the bulk of our focus will have taken place after 12,000 years ago. It is indeed arbitrary, but if anything, it is marked by the rapid transformation of human society. This is Ancestoria, the human era. Around year zero, in the human era, the world was undergoing drastic changes and humans began to alter their behavior to thrive in these new times. 300 HE was the end of the last ice age due to temperatures reaching high enough to melt the continental ice sheets, causing sea levels to rise dramatically. The retreat of ice sheets opened up land never before available to Homo sapiens. Plants became hardier, more productive, and expanded to greater ranges, while many of the animals our ancestors previously relied on went extinct. This encouraged a shift to consume more vegetables for a greater percentage of the human diet. Though this was largely beneficial, as plants are a lot easier to gather, and there was an explosion of edible plants. Food was so plentiful that the human population across the globe was likely around 8.5 million. Humans occupy nearly the entire world. All these variables made humans have to adapt to different ways of life. Tribes gradually restricted mobility in hopes of defending their local resources, and possibly because they knew other areas would be subject to defense by another group. People now increasingly turned to exploiting large quantities of food at one time, because they now had a way to store large quantities in sedentary or semi-sedentary societies. More and more tribes came into contact with each other and began to swap surplus resources in exchange for exotic or crucial resources. This is nothing new, although it was becoming much more frequent and widespread. Societies themselves were becoming much more complex as people were beginning to specialize into certain tasks such as building canoes for the tribe, and simple hierarchies were also beginning to form based on varying factors. A transition from segmented tribes to growing cooperation, a move from subsistence to specialization, a taming of nature to fit human purposes, and the rise of civilizations. It is when our planet truly started becoming the human world. Everything that had come before was a prelude, a staging ground where humans had come to occupy nearly every region of the planet. The human era is just beginning. This is Ancestoria, the history of our ancestors. <laughs>